Welcome to a new channel in this video, or perhaps it's the other way around. Anyway, when you see this video, I'm flying to Hong Kong to go visit the Hong Kong Fintech Week, as well as, of course, SmartCon. I made a video about SmartCon last week, so you might as well check that out if you're interested in that. I just, it's a quick overview. The quality was not that great, but hey, we're back at the good camera. Uh, I will vlog there and keep my followers updated on any news there, so make sure to subscribe here and go follow me on X without further ado. Let's talk about today's topic, which is Visa. In an era where digital transactions dictate the pace of global finance, Visa, a titan of the payment industry, once again proves why it's at the forefront of technological innovation. With over 4 billion cards issued globally and handling trillions of dollars in transactions annually, Visa can be seen as the backbone of global commerce. But as the digital economy evolves, so does Visa's strategy. The company sees blockchain and cryptocurrency solutions not as threats, unlike many others do, but as vital tools to enhance the very fabric of its payment systems. In doing so, Visa is seeking efficiencies that traditional methods have long struggled to match. At the core of this effort is Chainlink CCIP. Renowned for its robust Oracle network, Chainlink offers a critical service connecting disparate blockchain ecosystems. This interoperability is crucial for a giant like Visa, which is keen on seamless, secure, and reliable cross-chain transactions. But what does this really mean for Visa's future? By levering CCIP, Visa is not only improving the speed and reducing the cost of cross-border payments, but it's also paving the way for cryptocurrencies to be seamlessly integrated into everyday transactions. No more delays, no more excessive fees, just instantaneous borderless payments. Visa's engagement with Chainlink brings this vision closer to reality. But Visa didn't stop there. In 2020, Transac, a platform that simplifies fiat to crypto onboarding, teamed up with Chainlink to enhance its services with decentralized secure data feeds for smart contracts. This partnership allowed Transac to ensure reliable crypto on-ramps for users that enter the, the blockchain space. Fast forward to 2024, and Visa has tapped into Transac's capabilities, further expanding its blockchain toolkit. By integrating Transact technology, Visa is enhancing the user experience, making the transitions between fi uh, fiat and crypto seamless, secure, and again, accessible to everyday consumers. What's even more exciting is the broader industry recognition of stablecoins as a killer app in the blockchain. In fact, Nishint uh, Sangavi, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I butchered his name, uh, the head of digital currencies as Visa, will be speaking at Chainlink SmartCon and he's set to appear on a panel titled Stablecoin's Blockchain's Killer App. Whether he'll deep dive into how tokenized cash is transforming the ease of transferring money around, Sangavi and other thought leaders will explore whether stablecoins can continue to gain global traction as a go-to solution for faster, cheaper, and more accessible payments in an increasingly interconnected world. With Visa, Chainlink, and Transac coming together, we are seeing the emergence of a future where sending money globally could be as simple as sending out an email. The question now is, as the technology evolves, will global adoption of decentralized stablecoins follow suit, or will they be challenged by alternatives like CBDCs? Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments. I'll definitely read them all and I'll definitely reply to them all. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'll be here enjoying Hong Kong and SmartCon. Again, I'll keep everyone updated through um, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, what am I saying, uh, to Twitter. And again, I'll be posting some videos on YouTube afterwards. So enjoy your day, enjoy your week, and I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.